Hi okay, guys, gonna show you how to put together IKEA kitchen. This is the method units. You got few bottom, few top ones. I'm gonna take you through through all the installation, uh, building appliances. You're gonna have some uh, cooker on the top. I'm gonna cut a panel on top, and you're gonna put the units on the wall and visit everything as it's supposed to be. This IKEA kitchen will be divided in between five parts, and now we have part two where I'm gonna show you how to install appliances and the interiors. We're starting with the drawers. Uh, how to fit the cooker fittings, how to build the drawers under it, hinges on the doors, how to put them on and a small a slider for the kitchen, bottom kitchen unit. Let's do it now. Starting with the, we're starting with the drawer. So we got the two side panels, one back panel, just slide that in and the bottom panel, this is a solid, um, solid part, not as the usual IKEA stuff. So it's an MDF but a bit thicker, so just slide it in. This is gonna be the front of the drawer. There is a special fitting for those kitchen units, so you just have to check um, instructions properly. Don't mix up the holes. So it's one, uh, two fittings on each side and a small plastic under it. Secure it with the two screws on each. Uh, we can position the drawer and we just click that in if you use the right holes you should be able just click it in open the sides there is a small metal bracket just click it in and that's how you secure the drawer uh, the front exactly the same on the other side just click it in and secure it at the back we got the screw so that's just securing the back uh, bottom panel at the back and here the small l-shaped bracket securing um, the front panel of the drawer so this is the drawer under the oven, a small plastic which they're gonna separate those um, spacers. Just click them in at the front and at the back, exactly the same on the other side. Click it at the back and at the front and slide the lock in. So this one is done, this is under the oven. You can prepare the, he uh, the rails for it. On the old drawers is the same system, so I'm just gonna show you how to fit the rails. This is gonna be free a drawer chest the bottom unit so we got the first rail lowest point we can this is the middle one two screws for the each rail for now just check it out the holes in this case uh, right now I did a mistake so the second one not gonna come in I'm gonna fix it later on so the first one is in they sliding nicely in there is no any uh, if you did everything right it should be fine you see I made mistake so the front I uh, have to move them one hole up so make sure you check that out before otherwise you have some extra work as I have now I move that move the rails up so we are all fine now we can slide it in nicely and the top one exactly the same just slide it in it's gonna click automatically in and that's it is locked in place so that's how the method kitchen um, drawers work so this is the um, last screws once you have everything done all check out the drawer if they're matching uh, nicely you can secure it with the extra screws on the middle so do this after when you check if the drawers are in a correct position as here now. On the side we cover those locks. You remember we locked the front uh, panels of the drawer. We cover them with a small plastic and there is like a stickers on the side so the drawer is not gonna slam once they close. Exactly the same on the other side. Two stickers, one on the top and one on the bottom of the each front panel of the drawer and the plastic covering the locks. There it is. Okay, the drawer is done. This is the oven part. So basically this is the fitting for the oven. That's what this, uh, um, that's the L-shaped we're gonna build. Basically it's just click in two metal parts. So you just click them in together and it, it built kind of L-shaped um, rail for the, for the cooker, for the oven, sorry. Yeah, just click them in and open it up. On the side you got the long long holes so that's the ones where we're gonna attach uh, them on the side so it is adjustable you see how long is the hole so you can adjust it the way you need it maybe some cookers they are taller or shorter so that's why it is adjustable 
it's just sliding a little bit up and down and then you got two uh, metal thingies which is just put it on put them in the right position and they are prepared for the for the oven there it is the drawers under it nicely matching check it out maybe you need to position the the rails for the oven a little bit higher or make sure when it's opening is not hitting the drawer or the drawers opening nicely and have enough space to open up so this is the hinges we're gonna have a nice soft closing hinges in this case so just two screws those ones the, uh, the hinge have two parts so this one coming straight on the side panel just find the right holes and secure um, the first part and second part there is no screws on anything just click the top and basically lock the hinge in place just place it in push it completely in and lock the hinge you can lock the hinge this way easy and the top exactly the same easy to adjust there is two screws to adjust the doors up or up and down or left and right this is gonna be the slider this is slightly more complicated there you have this small piece of metal with the holes already pre-drilled so that's a good thing you can just um, follow the instructions and it's gonna take you there um, depend what you uh, what you have but uh, those holes uh, work perfectly fine um, I just follow the instructions here so uh, to exact holes which you need it depend what you have in this case it's like a small slider so basically it's a drawer with the two drawers in one um, front panel so we place those small um, locks on the side or hinges I don't know how how um, to call them Let's secure them with the screws is gonna be basically two on the top and two kind of on the middle on the lower part because there's gonna be two drawers connected with the one front panel there's those two small plastic for the spacers secure them with the two screws so for each drawer there's two of those plastics Secure all of them and this is just to cover the hole it's a small plastic because uh, you can use them as a door or you can use them as a front drawer so this is gonna be the kind of drawer inside that um, front panel so just slide the bottom part in and secure it exactly the same on the other one Two middle parts one bottom panel slide it in and that's it secure the bag I put the screw at the bag but we're gonna open it later on because there is some uh, connection at the bottom I'm gonna explain you later so just click them in exactly the same system like on the drawers just slide it in push the bracket on the hinge and lock it lock uh, the plastic uh, lock on the side so open it up Put the metal on just hook it in and lock it in place exactly the same here L slide it down and lock it in place so this is the spacers just click it at the back exactly the same like on a bigger drawer that's those plastic where they come in two so two at the back click and front click and secure it it's like a small a tube plastic lock so this is just the cover so it would look nice and now I have to unscrew those back screws because we're gonna have uh, this this metal gonna connect it all at the back so make it more secure so I just unscrew those screws at the back and place them through that bracket so the bracket uh, like adjoining those two um, two drawers at the back because at the front they connected with one long one so they have to be connected at the back as well so this is it already so you see how slim is the is the unit I suppose to put those rails maybe before because it's very hard to get even with my smallest screwdriver the screws was going um, falling down it was quite hard to fit in but at the end I did it so exactly the same system as on the other unit just slide it in and that's it it's all done we got drawers cooker done and 
drawer under it with a small slider and the doors. In the part three, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the bottom units with the rails. They come in on those metal rails. How to put them up? How to fix the legs? How to cut all the holes for the pipes and electric wires? And how to basically put all the bottom and the top units on the wall? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. Thank you very much, and don't forget to check out part one, two. Actually, two is this one, so part three, four, and five. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day.